How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video is going to be a video on how to make coins. This is December edition. Again, people ask me all the time, Henrik, how do you get all those coins? Henrik, how do you get those coins? Listen, I'm going to break down every way I personally get my coins and I'm going to break down every way you can get coins, okay? So there's just so many ways. Listen, pay to win, pay to win, pay to win. Let me, I'll admit something. Yes, it is challenging if you're a free-to-play player, but I can promise you, you can get a lot of coins, okay? Just for, just, you know, you know, just to think about this. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit different than NHL 19, but NHL 19, I spent $10 the whole year, and I had 7 million coins by team of the year. So just, just letting you know, it's possible. It's possible to get coins without paying to win, all right? So... Uh, I'm gonna go over how I make my coins personally, and uh, here we go. Here, without further ado, here we go. All right, so pretty much, you know, I load in the hut, and really, my mo most of the time, what I do is uh, I play rivals, right? So I play rivals, and typically, what I do, right, is you know, I play rivals. I try to get my, you know, I try to get platinum here because I'm in division one. That's where you get ultimate packs. So I'm just trying to get my ultimate packs each week, and what I do is I take untradeable. Okay, call me crazy. But that's what I do. Okay. That's what I do, and uh, usually, you know, in a hut champs, I'm in the top 200 at least, so I get at least two more tradable ultimates as well, so maybe I'll get some lucky pulls in these, right? Um, it all depends. Uh, so basically, let's just say it four ultimates, right? Say I get nothing in it, right? That is simply 20, 40, 60, 80 gold players, right? So that's almost 20 more gold players, and, and of course, there's other packs you're going to get with, with rivals, right, if you take untradeable, so... I have about 100 gold players, and that's just from Rivals and Hut Champs for the week. And uh, that gets me basically two collectibles, right? So, and if I get some good pulls, maybe, you know, I can turn it into some more coins, right? So, what I typically do then, after a while, as you can see, these sets. There's always a set that's out. You can trade in gold collectibles. So, what I always do, always the whole year so far, what I've done has made tradable sets. So, I made this set, and I did a set twice, actually, because I saved my collectibles up for quite some time. And uh, I did it twice. And I got the 91 Gabrick, as you saw, and the 92 McKinnon, and I got like 1.2 mil. 1.2 mil just on those two cards, just from, from playing the game. Literally. There was no money involved in that. I just, I played the game. Like, I have not spent money on this game since October. And so basically what I'm saying is, the gold collectibles I'm getting right now are from me playing the game. Not from p spending money. I'm not spending money at all on the game. What I also always do is I always buy the pack in the store for the gold collectible, with coins, of course. And uh, that's also, you know, that's one free gold a week, essentially, I'm getting. Well, not free, but okay. But that's one gold I'm guaranteed a week because I'm buying it. Okay, so that's how I make my coins, typically, guys. Through Hut Champs, Rivals, that's pretty much it. I mean, of course, you know, you get them through some other things, like objectives and stuff like that. But that's really not a way that I, I don't really, I don't do anything else like that. So, my advice for you guys, if you're just starting, and uh, let, let's just say you're not amazing at the game, okay? So, like, I'm, again, I'm getting really good rewards. I'm in a high division. So, that's why I get very good packs and good rewards every week. But for you guys, what about, like, Hot Rush? Hot Rush is very, very good, okay? So, let's do some quick math here. I'm going to get my calculator out. I, I, I like to do things on the fly, guys, all right? So, here we go. Hot Rush. All right, so we're going to tally up the amount of coins you can actually earn from Hot Rush, okay? So, listen, I know it takes time sometimes, but here we go. So, right here, we got 5K, all right? So, there's 5K plus... Another 8.5k plus another 5k. Okay. Plus that's it. Now here we go. Hear me out, guys. Hear me out, guys. So you got 18, 18k. I'm, I, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more, I'm not gonna lie. But 18.5k right there from Hot Rush. Uh you have two weeks to do it. Plus you get all these other packs along the way. Alright, listen, I know that's the most amazing ones. We get other packs along the way. You get a bunch of rerolls. Uh, eventually, you know, you, you grind out. You eventually get this week a uh, choice of one of four 84 overall players. They're not amazing. Don't get me wrong. They're not amazing. But overall, it's a, it's a really solid awards. And it's just good. It's good for free to play players. But I mean, you know, it, it's extra coins. And and maybe they're gonna they're gonna make more coins. They're, they're gonna they're gonna have more coins um, as Hot Rush goes on, right? So that that could be the play. Um, but yeah, I mean, Harsh, it's another way, just, it's just good to, to, for your team in general. So, you make some coins as well, but not really, uh, not as, as crazy, alright? So another thing, of course, I mean, again, take advantage of what EA gives you, alright? 
There's so many things you can do to actually earn coins in this game. So one thing that I really don't play, but it definitely is a good way to, to get coins is it's squad battles, guys. It is simply squad battles. Um, so right here, as you can see, um, here's the rewards. So even for uh, semi-pro, guys, that is essentially playing one game and you get uh, 4K. Pro 3, 7.5K. Again, that's like two or three games of, of uh, squad battles. Pro 1, you get to 12K. That's a little bit more. That's a little bit more. I'm not going to lie to you. But even Pro 2 is not crazy. You know what I mean? Like, you're still getting 10K. Like, essentially, this is the way I could look at it as well. If you just played... This is for Pro 2. That's basically Pro 2. I mean, depends, you know, how you're doing. Probably that's about five games, typically. Probably five or six games of, of uh, squad battles if you win and, and get all the points you can. Listen, 10K, of course... You know, 10k each week. That's 40k alone right there a month. That's just on squad battles. And if you really want to keep grinding squad battles, I mean, you get even more. Plus, you get these tradable packs as well. I mean, that's that's you know before the uh, the packs as well. I'm factoring in, right? So that's another another way. Squad battles. Listen, it's not the most appealing and most fun for everybody, but if you can do that on top of let's, let's think of it like this, guys, for a second, right? So I know not everybody's in D1. Not everybody's in you know gonna get ultimate. I'm not gonna get ultimate ever because I mean I, I can't play that much. It's too much. So let's just say you're in another division and you have the option to take 45k. So let's just say you did the squad battles every week, right? Squad battles every week, uh, and you got the 10k minimum, 40k a month you're getting right there. 45k a week on rivals. So if you do 45,000 times four weeks, of course, that's 180,000. Then plus 40,000 of the squad battles, you get 220k a month. Uh, 220k a month, just based on taking coins and rivals and also uh you know your squad battle coins and you can also get good pulls in those packs and if you play hut champs you can also get good pulls in that and you can also sell them off and get good coins if you take if you best advice for you guys typically is if when you open packs tradable sell your tradable cards uh because simply you know they're worth coins they're worth at least a thousand coins to pop the gold players so it's one thing to just mention but um, that's an easy way to make coins. It really is. I mean, it's not the most fun. People love opening packs. I love opening... Trust me, guys. I love opening packs. It's the reason I take untradeable every week. Because if I was smart, I mean, I, I finished in Platinum. I could take 67k a week. If, if, if I really wanted, I could I finish Ultimate take 100k a week. I'm making 400k a month. 400k a month! Like, think about that. How ridiculous that is. Just on, on, on rewards from rivals. That's before Hut Champs. Like, it's, it's pretty ridiculous if you think about it. But that's 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 a way to, to you know stack some coins I think quick right but uh another one I want to mention again as I mentioned before uh is again your tradable packs sell the gold cards sell them there's no point uh I mean you could yeah trade them in for collectibles but then you know if you're not making a tradable card it's just a waste it really is a waste so um that's my best advice uh another thing on how to make coins uh guys is actually to if you're gonna all right this is this gonna be this takes time and people are probably not gonna like doing this but what you can do is you sell your team every week and you buy your team back every week. So the days you want to do that, okay? So what you do, let's just say, all right, so Hot Champs is coming up, right? Buy your team for Hot Champs, right? Buy your team for Hot Champs. Buy it around Thursday or Friday. Sell it on Sunday night or Monday uh, morning, right? You will make coins probably, because uh, usually they're they're cheaper on those days of Thursday and Friday. Friday in particular, I'd say, because a lot of packs are being opened and the cards' values are going down. Uh, and I usually do go back up by the by the beginning of the week. So that's that's always a big uh, tip, I'd say, for you guys. Uh, it's a very easy way to make coins quick. So um, what else we got? Of course, the challenge is technically, yeah. I mean, but I mean, challenges aren't as rewarding as other things I just mentioned, I'd say. I mean, right here, yeah, you're getting coins, but like... Uh, you know, not not many. Three, three fifty, three seventy five. I mean, like, okay. I mean, not really. I mean, nothing too uh, special, right there. I'd say. So there you go. Um, that's for challenges. But challenges, I don't really, I don't really consider a thing. Um, what else can you really do here? So really, the other thing that I'm gonna really go to now. I mean, it's it's always a classic. I mean, it's always mentioned. People are gonna get mad at me. Oh, Henry, why are you exposing this in the video? And everyone's gonna know. Well, it's a very easy way to do it. All right, so. This, this one requires more time, obviously, of, of understanding the market, right? So, worth the auction house right now, obviously. And uh, personally, 
And this is probably the most efficient way if you're good at this um, to make coins, right? So this is really a, a big one. So I'd say the best time to do this when when rewards are given. So rival. So today, Wednesday is usually a very good day uh, to do this around 5 p.m. Eastern when the new content drop happens. Um, rival packs are being opened. People take tradables. People take coins. Uh, the market is definitely moving, right? So cards are going to be getting posted. Uh, definitely, you want to make sure you're at the 59th minute, okay? So what you want to do is let's just say, all right? Let's just say uh, by now maximum, let's just say, you know, I have 200K, right? Let's just say I have 200K to my name right now, okay? Um, so we're going to do that. And we're going to go to the auction house and we're going to go to the 59th minute, right? So we're going to keep going all the way to 59th minute. And uh, what you want to do is try to study and learn the values of each card, guys, all right? So the higher in cards, obviously, especially if you have coins, right? So let's just say you have 5K or something like that, too. You can also do this. It doesn't matter. You could have any coin amount and you could turn your coins into a very, very high number of coins. Patience is very important. You really need to have patience to do this. Trust me, I don't anymore. I used to love doing this, but now I'm just kind of like, I just play games, play games, play games. I don't, I don't really have the time, I feel like, to do this anymore. I mean, yeah, it definitely works. I mean, there's a reason why people do it, and it's very successful, right? So we're almost at the 59th minute now, and uh, pretty much what you want to do is uh, be the 59th minute. Uh, I know it's going to be more competition on the market, and a lot of people are going to watch this video and be like, oh my god, what are you doing, Henrik? I'm sorry, guys, but I'm trying to help everybody out. I'm not trying to just, you know, hide things from people. If I know how to make coins, I'm not going to hide it from people that really want to make coins, all right? So we're in the 59th minute right now. Um, I could also change the overall, but it doesn't really change the, the point, all right? So let's just say... Uh, you know, let, let, let's, let's just refresh it. So how you refresh it, hit the place bid and then back out. Uh, I know, I know I'm pretty sure there's other ways as well. So there's Kucherov right there. Uh, you have, uh, Brian Englom, or Emblom, sorry. And, uh, you can see them, these keep getting posted. So you pretty much get the first look at these cards when they're put up. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's really the best thing I'd say is always do this and you see the cards go up, right? So right now, Brand Davidson. Okay. I mean, that's probably overpriced, right? Uh, gold cards. I mean, you just gotta, you know, Kandanko E7K, I mean, that, that seems very, very expensive. But, um, yeah, I mean, you're going to see cards that you're going to probably be like, wait, whoa, 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 you know? And then you're probably going to try to buy it, and then you'll be like, oh, you're too late. Because other people are doing this, guys. Right now, as I'm recording this video, I guarantee you there's people doing the same exact thing as me. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. So there's a lot of competition, and uh, you definitely need to be quick with it. You can't just fall asleep and be like, oh, is that a good deal? If you think, oh, is that a good deal, more times than not, you're going to miss it. So you gotta be very, you gotta know 100%. Like this could be a decent deal. Let's see if Sutter sell. I'm not sure. No, he's not. I, I thought maybe with a two hours that could be a decent deal, but again, I don't know the market as well. All right. So there's gets left. If cards sell quick, usually that tells you that uh, it was a good deal. All right. So uh, that that also could be a little hint, right? So if you see a card that like sells right away, um, that that is a big hint. Obviously, that it was good. So the Carlson sell? Oh no, he didn't. Okay. But yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a matter of just waiting game, really, when it comes to this method, I'd say. It's just a waiting game. And it's, it's very fun once you start getting steals. But for a while, it can be like, oh my, am I even, you know, am I, am I spending my time wisely, right? Or something else I could be doing, right? But uh, no, I, I think it's a very, very beneficial way to make coins still. It really is. So Nita Meyer for 150. And that's a little too overpriced. If you, some people just don't know the, the value. Some people don't look at the market before they post things, you know? You gotta just keep that in mind, guys. People just don't know what they're really doing sometimes. So, uh, I, I, as you can see, I mean, it's just cards just being constantly put up. Especially for this range, Jeff Petra seems like a pretty decent deal for Petra. I always see him. I see him for like 80k usually. Um, I'm not sure if he sold. No, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, you'll just see cards that will sell uh, over time, and you'll be like, "Wow, that was a deal." So, I mean, again, guys, just patience is very important, and uh, really, you gotta just see, you know, what card you're selling and which ones aren't, right? So. Overall, I mean, you can make a lot of coins doing this. You're not going to make a million coins an hour. You can get really lucky and get something that's, like, ridiculously cheap. But, again, it's all competition. There's all people that are doing this as well, right? So, got to keep that in mind. And, uh, yeah, for just for that purpose, right? So, it's very, very good. Ovechkin, 88 overall. That's obviously normal price, I'd say, for him. But, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, I mean, those are really, like, the biggest tips I'd say for making coins. I mean... I mean, really, the other ways, I'm not really sure of other ways, really, at that point. I mean, I pretty much gave every way you can really possibly make a single coin in HUT. I mean, that's really it. I mean, there's really not much else. But, yeah, keep doing this. I mean, 
to me, I mean, if I really would recommend the number one one is to definitely just play the game. I mean, because you get better at the game as well by playing rivals and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, listen, not, not everybody's an online fan. That's okay. So if you just want to make coins and uh, you really don't want to play online to, to earn those coins, go ahead. Do this. It definitely uh, is a beneficial way, uh, a very easy way, I'd say, to make coins. As long as you know the market, just get a little notepad, write things down, write the cards, prices down, and you'll be on your way. You really will. So, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel here. I hope this video helped some of you guys out. I know people always ask me, Henrik, how do you get all those coins? Henrik, how do you get this team? How? 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 Listen, guys, I spent a decent amount of money early in the year. I, okay, I'll be honest. Maybe the reason I have maybe high skin in and a few other cards is because of the amount of money I spent early on in the year. But again, the last like month, I've literally not spent a dollar in the game. So there's no... I, I, I don't have... I'm not using my coins either to buy gold collectibles or anything like that. Every match that I'm making is gold collectibles through just me playing the game. So, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I really hope you enjoyed the... Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of it. Uh, if there's other videos you want me to make, I'm down. I can always make more videos. I'll at least have a videos. I'm going to have a gameplay video hopefully going up tonight. As that requires a little bit more time, so I really want to make sure it's a good quality video as well. So, again, follow me on Twitch, Henrik. We're live there every single day at 2 p.m. Eastern. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik with three E's. Join my Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. World Juniors is starting as well, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, to watch that and talk about that in the Discord with you guys, right? Use code Henrique as well for G Fuel purchases. Don't forget that. And I'll see you all in the next video. Enjoy your rest of your day, guys. See you later.